Hey there, RT Clan. Today I want to talk about a topic that's been raising eyebrows and causing some serious concerns. I'm talking about that ever-increasing credit card debt in America. Brace yourselves because it's not looking good. First off, let's talk about the numbers. The average American credit card balance has hit a record high of $7,300. Meanwhile, the median household savings is a meager $5,300. And guess what? Delinquency rates have been on the rise for six consecutive quarters, which is the longest streak since the not-so-great year of 2008. So yeah, we're fighting inflation with credit cards. That's clearly a sign of desperation for a lot of people. Now here's a jaw dropper. For the first time in history, total credit card debt is about to cross $1 trillion. Yeah, you heard that right, with a T. Since Q4 2020, total credit card debt has shot up by over $200 billion. Americans currently have a staggering $986 billion in credit card debt. I mean, talk about living beyond your means. And it's not just small change we're talking about here. In some states, the average credit card debt is reaching almost $10,000. New Yorkers, on average, are sitting pretty near 9,200 in credit card debt. And get this, 27 states have an average credit card debt balance of $7,000. So what does that mean? Borrowing has become the new normal, it seems. Let's move on to some not-so-fun facts from a survey conducted in late 2022. Brace yourselves for this one. A whopping 56% of the respondents claim they carried a balance on their credit cards in Q3 of 2022. That's over half the people surveyed. And to make matters worse, credit card interest rates have hit a record high at 25%. Can you believe that? That's daylight robbery right there. And speaking of interest rates, average interest rate on the credit card debt is ridiculous at 24.2%. In some cases, it's as high as 27.7%. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if it hit 30% in the next coming months. As if things weren't bad enough, the Fed is raising interest rates, making carrying a balance on a credit card even more expensive. This is the pure definition of the word usury, for sure. But as always, there's more. The legacy rates have been on the rise, reaching nearly 3%. Sure, they dropped during the pandemic when everyone got some stimulus funds, but now we're witnessing the exact opposite trend. Six straight quarters of increasing delinquencies, tying the street. Yeah, that's just what we needed. You know what's really concerning? As the prices of everyday necessities skyrocket, Americans are turning to borrowing to make ends meet. It's like a vicious cycle over and over again. Many of us have never experienced interest rates this high in our adult lives, and it's pushing us deeper in the credit card debt crisis. So there you have it, folks. The numbers don't lie, and they're not looking pretty. We're drowning in credit card debt, and it's time to wake up and smell the financial reality. There's a strong suspicion that this upcoming September, the Fed is going to hike rates again. And at this current moment, I don't see them pivoting the way that a lot of people anticipate them to pivot. So what that means is that the rates will probably continue to increase, putting more of a strain on the economy. Therefore, the labor market will eventually begin to tighten. And as people, unfortunately, are laid back or their hours are reduced, that means they're more than likely going to swipe again. And on the other side of that, we have the credit tightening cycle that's also beginning where banks are not extending credit as normally. So what does that mean? A lot of people may not be able to take out new credit cards. And if they can't take out new credit cards, then what do they do? And if people can't fund themselves by debt the way they are now by swiping a card, at that point, it's going to be kind of hard to hide the obvious, the things that are really unraveling. So what are the main takeaways from this video? It's simple. Do the best you can to dial back off using debt for non-productive means. Use cash whenever you can for core necessities. And then begin to tailor in on unnecessary spending that has probably stretched you beyond your everyday needs. And lastly, begin to work on establishing some type of an emergency fund for the days ahead. It can be as simple as just dollar cost averaging and to setting aside some funds in an extra pot for a rainy day or an emergency situation down the line. But anyway, just sharing some thoughts. Want to hear your thoughts on this? Leave a comment down below. If you found any value here, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Share this so more people can find out what's really happening in Main Street. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later.